I looked down at our hands, still clasped together, and rubbed my thumb over the top of her soft skin. Rose had come into my life in the most unexpected way. Every time I saw her, my heart did a little pitter-patter of excitement. Something was happening. She screamed when she got out of her car. I laughed. What? What? You're living in a freaking mansion. I shook my head. Technically, I'm living in the guest house. This is amazing. Is he home? No. Why? Can you give me a tour? She whispered. No way. I'm not breaking into his house. She's going to Italy with you. She lives with you. I mean, behind you. And you work together all day. You don't even spend that much time with me, and I'm your best friend. She is definitely more than your assistant. It's really nice, I told him, moving my arm a little to get a better view. Good. Keep it. I looked at him. No, I can't keep this. He nodded, closing the case and returning it to the cabinet. Yes, you can. It's a gift. I looked at the watch and did a little mental calculation based on what I knew the other watches sold for. I was guesstimating the timepiece on my wrist would cost around twenty grand. I had a twenty thousand dollar watch sitting on my arm. Your mother must be over the moon. She didn't tell me you were seeing someone, she said, her eyes dancing with excitement. Oh no, you've misinterpreted the situation, I said, trying to correct her misconception. You're a lucky man, she said to Antony, ignoring me completely. Thank you, Antony replied, without trying to correct the woman's assumption, earning a look of irritation from me. I think it would be better for you if you could settle down, put down some roots. You need to find your own place, or, like your father and I said before, move in here. We'll support you until you find your way in life, she said in her syrupy sweet voice that was razor sharp. I'm not lost, Mum, I shot back. He looked at me, completely serious, as he studied my face. You have your entire life in front of you. Don't let it pass you by. If you like that woman, you tell her. I will always treasure every day I had with your mother. We were together for more than fifty years. She agreed to leave her family behind to allow me to follow my dream. That's real love. That's what you want to have. I want you to have a woman who loves you and will stand by you always. Dad, I hope I will have that one day. I'm not opposed to it. I just haven't been lucky enough to find the right woman, I told him. He nodded slowly. If you're not looking, you're not going to find her. Why don't we take a shower here, and then you can go home and get dressed, he whispered, dropping his mouth to my ear where he began to nibble. I guess, I guess I could do that, I replied in a breathy voice. He rolled on top of me, his hard body pushing against mine. What's so funny? he asked. Nothing. I'm thinking our shower might be extended a little. He grinned. A little? Baby, the things I've planned for you in that shower. <laughs>